B12, should you take it? Now, a couple years ago, I remember somebody mentioning that B12 helps with fat metabolism, gives you more energy, and just gives you more overall well-being. But back then, I just heard that and started taking it. Now, I took the injectable form, which is actually available at Costco, and it's super cheap. And after doing a little bit of research, you know, I found that do you absolutely need vitamin B12 injections or supplementation? I would say no, but in today's video, I'm gonna tell you what B12 does, how much you should be taking, and what's the difference between the pill and the injectable form. B12, should you take it? Vitamin B12 is a key component in the process of converting food into energy. B12 is essential for the metabolism of fatty acids and amino acids. B12 is necessary for the synthesis of DNA through a process crucial for the formation of red blood cells, and B12 is also involved in the maintenance of the nervous system. So B12, if you feel low energy or sluggish, you could ask your doc to do a test to see if you are actually low in B12. Now, who is at risk for being low in B12? Vegetarians and vegans, because they have limited dietary intake of B12 from animal products. The second is the aging population, that they might have an inability for the stomach to produce intrinsic factors for absorbing B12. And people with gastrointestinal issues, conditions like celiac disease, Crohn's disease, and atrophic gastritis can hinder B12 absorption. So from what I found is that the normal requirements for B12, if you were to supplement, you would need anywhere from 2.4 to about three MCGs of supplementation if you're eating a regular daily diet intake that isn't vegetarian or vegan. So you'll get a lot of it from animal products. Now, when the supplements come in, the dosage would range from 100 to 1,000 MCGs. So really, what you would require depends on how much you're naturally taking. And I think if you use MyFitnessPal and you track all of your food, they might actually break down how much B12 you're actually consuming. So you don't need a ton, about 2.4 MCGs, and the supplements that you're gonna take are anywhere from 100 to 1,000 MCG. I looked at the Vitastack, and the Vitastack gives you about 64 MCG, so if you're taking the Vitastack, that should be more than enough that is required for your daily intake. Now the difference between pills and injectable is that pills are easy to take, but you might lose some of the MCGs through the digestion process. And you would have to take the pills every single day. So if you're taking the Vitastack, you're fine. Now when it comes to injectables, the injectables actually have a higher absorption rate and you need to take it less often. So some would range from just weekly to a monthly dose. But the problem with taking injectables is taking the injectable. How well are you to take a small little insulin needle and inject it into your belly button? Not your belly button, but basically the, the fat beside your belly button. So it has to be deposited into a fatty deposit. Mainly, your stomach is the easiest method. So a lot of people get irritation in that area. area. Some people just don't like the feeling of getting pricked by a needle. So in conclusion, if you find yourself battling with low energy or sluggishness, it might be worth considering a B12 test, especially if you fall into the high risk groups like vegetarians, vegans, older adults, or those with GI or gastrointestinal issues. When it comes to supplementation, the choice between pills and an injectable depends on your preference and your lifestyle. While pills are convenient and easy to take, you have to take them daily. Injectables offer a higher absorption rate and may require less frequent administration but are you okay with injecting yourself with the needle once a week or monthly? Ultimately, whether you opt for a pill or injection, always consult with your doctor to see if you actually need to do the B12 injectables or the B12 pills. Take charge of your health and your energy and don't hesitate to visit me online, www.fitclub.fit, and mention the belly burn so that we can build out a customized supplement plan for you.